All right, so today on this episode of What Plant Is That, Paul, I'm gonna talk about this tree here, update number four, it's the Brazilian fern tree. It is August, or sorry, whoa, it is June 2nd, luckily, and uh, it's just starting to take off. So we had some comments about will this, uh, will cuttings off of this tree take? So, uh, well, here, to answer your question, I would say yes. So um, this one is about two weeks old. It's really, really small. And I wanted to see how a small, tiny one does. There you go. Sorry about the jackhammer. They keep jackhammering. I give up. I'm going to try to shoot this episode. So there you go. Two weeks old. I cut it straight off of the tree. It's a new growth um, into May. And it's doing fine. Um, and here's another one. Same time frame. I cut it off. And you can see the new growth there. It's really beautiful. So what's awesome about this plant is it seems to be really, really resilient. And I'll tell you why in a second. But before that, um, I'm not sure if this one's gonna survive. It's kind of flopping down. Um, and what typically happens is there would be a big long branch here. Uh, I must have lost it in the transport here. But there's a big long branch here um, and they've all fallen off since I, I cut it off. So all I did was use uh, palm soil and uh, when I cut this off of the plant two weeks ago, I used a bit of rooting powder and it seems to be doing fine. So um, that is th that. Um, this one I cut right at the end of August last year and I know it looks really beat, but uh, it's actually had a lot of trauma to it. So this one was doing really well. I, I kept it in uh, the garage on cold days and would let it out in the in, on warm days and kept it by a window and it seemed to do fine. I watered it very, very rarely. Um, however, um, I'm not gonna tell you why, but uh, basically this thing's gotten pulled out of the uh, soil twice and has been broken off three times. So it's still doing fine. Um, I'm excited. I'm gonna put these into, um, uh, into a full shade environment where they're not gonna get touched or I may just put them in a greenhouse. Um, I haven't decided yet. So there you go, so far these cuttings, that one is again almost a year old and it seems to be having new growth and doing fine. This one is two weeks old. Um, again, I cut these in May in Southern California. So I'll go show you the mother plant really quickly. It's a really beautiful plant, you can see there. And uh, most of the growth is on to the base of bottom of the stem up. Um, also the top right up there last uh, in episode 3 I think I talked about that a large um, red tail hawk had jumped up there and for some reason all the birds love to hang out on this thing and the new growth is very very fragile so it just snaps under their weight um, or a strong wind so this plant has no shame in just dropping its uh, leaves or the whole branches um, but you can see that there will be some growth that remains so this plant is about, I want to say, seven years old, six or seven. It's really getting solid, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful plant. So again, give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. Sorry about this lighting. It's still beautiful. Um, and this is the Brazilian fern tree, also known as the Brazilian flame tree. I did not know that until recently. So they call this the Brazilian flame tree. It looks like a giant yellow blossom of uh, tons of flowers when it blooms. So hopefully ours will bloom this year, that'd be rad. But again, this is one of the rarest plants I think we have in our eclectic collection. So give us a like, subscribe, have a great day. All right, uh, Brazilian flame tree, Brazilian fern tree. Lots of names, but it's still cool. All right, have a good day. Dude, it's creepy.